Yeah. Well, here's a term you may have never heard <laughs> when it comes to a turtle. I know I haven't. No. Uh, bubble butt. Heard the term, not for a turtle. <laughs> uh, this is actually what happens when a, a sea turtle is injured and then air gets trapped inside its shell. So this is Seymour, a 14-year-old turtle at the Mall of America Sea Life Aquarium. She was injured by a boat near Florida. The air trapped under her shell makes her rear end float too high. So today we tagged along as Seymour had a two pound lead weight attached to the back of her shell. Um, so the crack in her shell is about um, midway down her back. And so what we do is we put it the weight towards the end of her because unfortunately instead of swimming straight, her butt tends to go in the air and the name for that is bubble butt syndrome. So we put the weight on the back and it pushes her, her bottom end back down and helps her to swim more neutrally. She's doing really, really well. Um, she's got a lot of fight in her. She's always really rowdy and she's got a great attitude. So it's a lead weight and basically it's just encased in a bunch of um, marine safe epoxy that you'd use on like, um, like a boat epoxy or something like that. So what we do is we take her out, we dry the area, we sand it down a little bit to get um, a little bit more um, adhesion with the, the epoxy. We put the weight on. Uh, cover it all up and then let it dry for a couple hours and she's good to go. Seymour weighs um, 100 pounds. The weight itself is about a pound and a half. And then when we have the epoxy on there, it's about two pounds altogether. So about 2% of her body weight, which for a little air bubble, it, it counters it very well. She's been good on her weight. Um, she eats like a horse. She's pretty good. <laughs> How about that? Uh, Seymour has had the weight reattached several times. Uh, sometimes it gets knocked off, other times it just sheds naturally when her shed or when her uh, shell tends to shed. So you heard she eats like a horse. We asked what she likes to eat. Turns out that peppers, carrots, lettuce, and yams are some of her favorite foods. So she has to so the she has to wear a weight all the time. Have a weight. I think until the shell uh, heals, right? Yeah. And then that would make sense. And no more, she'd become more buoyant again. You know, she wouldn't have the crack in her shell. I would think. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I didn't know if it would ever heal or does the air ever. Oh, I, I hope bubble butt's not a permanent condition <laughs> for her. That's what I mean. That would be sad. Poor thing. Yeah, but that's great. They can help her. Yeah. I can't say bubble butt without smiling. She was so professional about it, like it was a technical Well, well it, it is a technical, technical term. Like, they got to get a more technical term. <laughs> Sorry, it's funny sounding. Uh,